Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. It's kind of a tutorial, not really, because I'm just playing with the Morphe James Charles palette. That's what this video is. I'm gonna have to do this because like it's literally so big. It's my first impression of it. And I also try out a few new e.l.f. products that I just received. And you would see that if you saw my Monday's video. If you want to see what I picked up at Ulta and e.l.f., just click raw e. I'm so excited. You'll have to see what I think. I'll put a timestamp down below like when the actual review review starts. It's not really a review, it's just like a little recap. Let me know down below if you have the James Charles palette and what you think of it. Also leave any specific looks or colors that you want me to do with these down below. And yeah, really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started. I actually played with this last night on my friend. She was like my first impression. I'm not the best doing makeup on people. I didn't know how the shadows performed, so I just felt like the blend wasn't too great when I tried to build up colors. I'm not using like a real primer in this video. I know he did say these shadows work best for like actual primers like MAC Paint Mod or even the Morphe Eyelid Primer. I didn't purchase those, so I'm just gonna use what I normally do because this has worked with literally everything else. If you've watched my channel for any time at all, then you know that it's the Sanji Super Smooth Concealer, but it's super sad because they don't have this shade on the website anymore and like all of their shades are way darker. I look a little like dewy slash kind of oily. I exfoliated my face, put off daily moisturizer on and then on top I put the off nourishing facial oil. I would have just put this on but I totally forgot about it. it. feels really moisturizing. It does feel a little oily like my other oils like just kind of sink in. Amy Macedo did like a full glam colorful makeup tutorial. That's what it looks like. I just fell in love with that look and I just knew that I could make that look with this palette, the little center of the lid probably will be a different color. I was thinking about doing the topper purple shadow. I have the card taped up here. So it's a lot easier than having to match it with what's on the back. I wish it was just under it, but yeah. I laid out these shadows and these are the ones that I was planning on using. I'm gonna put the yellow on her first because I tried to kind of follow this look. It kind of mixed in with the colors in a weird way. Maybe I shouldn't depend on that, but I really don't want to mess up this look from the yellow. I'm going to take E129 by Huey Studio. I'm going to start a flyer and go in with a single. I kind of typed my brush a few times and tap it off. I feel like this brush is too big, but we'll try it. I'm not going to tap it off, actually. I know I'm probably supposed to just build it all up first and then blend it all out, but I can't do that. I'm trying not to get it too high up because I am putting the orange over it. I'm going with E132. This, like, does brush so that maybe it won't mix too much and go in with 501e. I feel like with this orange mixing with the purple it's not as bright. It's kind of turning brown. I'm going in with the skate. I just kind of place that kind of where that other purple is. Whenever I saw this palette there was no doubt in my mind that I wanted to purchase it. Normally I like don't purchase a palette for a long time to see the reviews and like all that. Like the Jaclyn Hill palette took me forever to purchase. No shade to Jaclyn at all. I know that she uses so many bronzy shades, warm, smoky eyes. There are so many unused shades in that palette for me. The two rows, that one row in the middle, like, is just perfect. It's not too many, but I can still see, like, the staple shades in there that were in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Those are the ones that I use. Those are the ones that are in here. I'm not trying to throw any shade. I'm just being honest about the palettes. These were regular palettes with no name on them, then it wouldn't be throwing shade. So why is it whenever we put a name on it? I'm gonna stay on that detail crease brush with the orange shade once again. I think that's as good as those shades are gonna get. Go in with rather a little on this crease brush once again. I'm kind of gonna take it like here, just cause I feel like there needs to be a part where it connects below my crease. I don't wanna just start from the purple. This is not gonna be that intense because everything around it is so dark. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that white all over the lid. That's just gonna blend in with everything and that doesn't need to happen because now it won't be bright at all. I'm not taking it up far at all. I'm gonna take further on my finger. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over the lid. I'm gonna take Cola, this darker blue, and build it up out here. I feel like this just looks like brown and blue. I'm taking it kind of high just because that blend is just really bad. For the lid, I kind of want to do this shade. Might as well. Maybe take a little bit of Sister. I feel like with the pink reflect, it looks intentional. With the white, just looks ashy. I mean, I guess I could just try this. Might as well while we're trying everything else. Kind of like. 
like this one a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and do the face. I think I'm just gonna do like the first impression on the primer and I'll go do the rest of my face off camera. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion. Oh, it kind of just smells like the moisturizer. That's what it smells like. I feel like this is gonna be like a more subtle version of my Wet Mile Duty Primer. This is literally like a moisturizer with shimmer in it. This is something you could get away with just this on your face. Oh yeah, you can't even really see any shimmer. It's glowy. I'm going to use AOE Studio Perfect EV Cream, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fine, AOE Studio Perfect Setting Powder. I'll go ahead and do a bronzer as well. I'm just gonna use the Olive Cool Bronzer. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do. Oh yeah. So everything's baking to my bronzer. I started my brows like with the little bit of left that I had in my brow pencil. Let's just go ahead and try and do my brows with a shade from this palette. So I feel like the only one that I can do my brows with is T, just because it's pretty cool tone and it's kind of like a mid-tone brown and it's gonna show up darker I know that's about how it always goes I'm gonna go in with the Tito Grease brush starting on my lower lash line I'm gonna go in with 518 I feel like I could do just this shade and it will look pretty cool just bring out that pink that's already in there and that is love that and I'm gonna go in with this more precise E124 I'm gonna connect that with me in the corner. I'm gonna bring that up under the shadow as well. Okay, now for blush. I think I'm going with literal. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it kind of latched onto like those little scalies right there where I've had like pimples. I think those are just like scars. For highlight, they spring light. I'm gonna mix the two. Bring my face. I just want some stuff to be set. I'll do black in my tight line. Mascara, lashes. This is how the eyes look. These lashes definitely are done. They're looking a little wonky. And then I put some periwinkle blue liner on the waterline. I feel like my eyes look pretty green. We need to be doing me cool now. I'm gonna go in with Hello. I tie this in with like the waterline. That's the eyes. Finish. I'm gonna go in with my late smooth plum lip liner pencil from LA Colors. Maybe I should fill these slips in a little. I'm gonna take off the matte lip color natural. This is a new one. I like this color. Nope. So I'm gonna top it off with, you guessed it, Moon Child Gloss. No, I'm not doing swatches in this video just because of late till there, there's probably like 12 jillion swatches up. So yeah. This is the finished look. And I really hope y'all like this look. I really love it, but I wish that there was actually like different colors on the wood. It basically just turned out being purple. It just ended up being like brown, kind of bluish, purple, pink, blue. I still like how the look turned out. I kind of thought that the colors would be a lot more, not even vibrant, but like, I guess it is good that they all blend together, but not really because it's not like they blend together to form their own color. It's like they blend together to form like brown if i'm using this wrong like if there's another way that i need to try it just let me know his looks always look distinct like they look like there's like seven different colors in it but like this just doesn't don't get me wrong i still love how this looks and it blends a lot easier than i thought it would because of how he was like talking about how you like had to have this certain primer and like all that stuff there wasn't any color that was hard to blend maybe that's why there wasn't distinct color so maybe i need to pick up an eye primer just let me know what your experience is if i just blended too much maybe i don't know i'm definitely going to do some more looks with this obviously this is going to be the only palette that i'm going to be using i know this is just packaging but i wish on the back there was actually like something like what was on the back of the box i like how it's matte and i like how this is glossy. I just love this palette. I feel like it's really well thought out. I don't mind that there's not a mirror because I wouldn't use this huge mirror in here anyways. It would just break. I just take this mirror everywhere anyway, so that doesn't bother me at all. I like how it says, let me shred. Overall, I like the shadows. They just kind of blended too easily, I guess. Like, they all blended into each other. I like them. I'm obviously gonna, like, keep using them, keep trying them out. Maybe I'll try and do the look where it's, like, color here, color here, color here, instead of, like, color here, color here, color here. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's why it doesn't blend too well. I don't, I don't know. We're just gonna play around with these shadows and see how they go. I know that they are meant to be good, so I just gotta figure out a way to use them. If you recreate this look or any of my other looks, be sure and tag me on Instagram. 
cream. Tell me down below if you have this palette, what you think of it. Am I using it wrong? Do I need to use an eye primer? Just let me know anything. Any video ideas, anything you want me to do. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Unleash your inner artist.